man, that's such a hard transition when I when I <laughs> when I cut the getting started screen. Good morning, everybody. How are y'all? I'm sure there's nowhere else you'd rather be this morning. Nowhere else you'd rather pay attention to than this stream this morning, right? Nothing much going on in the world. We'll have a nice chill day. Chill day putting stickers on my laptop. Lamest stream ever, but we're gonna do it, Chad. We're gonna do it. So good morning. Good morning, Miss Miss G's Crafties and Hobby 100. How are y'all? Hope you're doing well. We got a, my mind's racing this morning. I'm just thinking, it's like, boy, I'm gonna stream. I'm gonna keep my stream schedule going and I gotta get this shipping done. So we're gonna stream, stream for a little bit and then we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump and we're head back to head back to the, the shipping shipping office in a little bit. <clears throat> oh, I should probably put on the the desk cam. See that there. And we'll get the bucket of stickers in place. Because this is so exciting. We're gonna defile my laptop. Afro Mighty, good to see you. Glad you made it too. So we'll give everyone a few minutes to get in, get past their ads. I had uh, Wu-Tang and I had, was it ADT? One of the alarm companies um, ads today. So those Wu-Tang ads are making me wanna get Hulu. Oh boy. I'm kind of nervous about this stream today. Oh, I, sh I should stop going through this box. I have lots of story. Borderlands three ad, yeah, I've been seeing those for sure. I'm not sure how many people will have in stream today. Good group so far, but you know, there's other th other things streaming right now. Zoji water bottle. I'm gonna have to check that out. What's up, Doug? Yeah, there's other live streams taking place elsewhere in the world, but this is the most important, important live stream currently on the internet because I have a blank laptop. And I didn't think I was going to, I should have, I probably have a picture somewhere like on my Instagram feed of my old laptop, which lasted about four or five years. About I go through a laptop about every four or five years. That's pretty much my cycle. And when I get a new device, I always say, oh, it's so pretty. I'm not gonna put stickers on it. And then it's lasted about three months and I'm like, I'm tired of it looking like every other laptop. I want it to look like mine, right? So my last laptop was covered front and back. So I finally decided to, uh, bite the bullet and sticker this one up so i figured what better place to do it than on stream so um that's what we're gonna do today it's kind of boring but i do um address uh addressing envelope streams so it can't be more boring than that some hp laptop ad yeah i don't know i hadn't seen that one they have something new coming out all right so what we're going to do, we have a blank palette. So front, sorry for the glare, back, no stickers, uh, no keyboard stickers. I sometimes do that too. So no keyboard stickers there. So um, completely blank slate right now. And the only thing I know, so we'll go through a bunch of these stickers and what I have. So basically I have this box that I keep in my closet of doom where any stickers I get I just dump into the box that way I know if I need stickers I can go here and go through them and figure it out so not everything I have is in here but most of the things I have are in here so we'll um we'll talk about them how we go good morning JVK and rich sticks uh how are y'all so we'll go through all of these stickers but there's one sticker that has to go front and center yeah that one Pen Attic sticker. Uh, I have the the old Pen Attic podcast sticker, which that one that one may not even make the cut for the laptop. So we're gonna get this one on. Um, I'm super crazy about 
like alignment. Like I won't get a ruler and a pencil out to do this, but um, I will focus way too hard <laughs> on, on at least a few of the stickers. Like the pin attic sticker needs to be like, it's gonna go front and center, like middle, middle, not a, e everywhere, but like right over the Apple logo, which I don't really care about the Apple logo that much. So maybe I should just put it, should I just go right over the middle? Should I just do that? Do y'all like it here? Or do we like it like at the top when I have my laptop cover up? So like here, it's hard to do on camera. Center, center. So where it's like the pin attic laptop. Cover the Apple, okay. Yeah, I'm good with that. Plus it's such a large sticker, it kind of works for that. So we'll cover it up. That seems to be the consensus. So this is the easy one. After that, all, bet, all butts are off after this. New gummy airhead ad. Like airheads the candy, but gummy ones? That I have not seen. All right. Man, who made these stickers so hard to get off? I thought this was an easy one. All right. So my only concern is how center center I can get it. So let's see here. I gotta go really top down. Y'all y'all enjoy the top of my head and check out my receding hairline and my bald spots while I aim my head into the camera. Oh, also can't have bubbles in it either, right? So we gotta be gotta be careful. Like I'm just eyeballing it, but it better be good. I think I did it. I think I did it, chat. All right, what do y'all think? I think I did pretty good. I mean, I know you can't totally tell, like I can tell, but yeah, I think we did that. All right, so good. I'm happy with that. Oh, and I have made sure I did it the right way so when I open the laptop, like you can see it, like it's the right orientation. So like, that's cool. So I'll do everything so it's the right orientation when the cover is up. So that's how everything will be lined up for this. All right. So the two other things I want, the two other things that are important to me are knock and spoke. So we have stickers for both and I don't know what's in this basket. I don't, I didn't, I just grabbed the basket and, and bolted today. Um, I know I have spoke stickers at home and I know I have knock stickers at home. So I'll either do those like side by side like this. That's probably what I'll do. I'll probably leave room here if I don't have them when I dig through this bin or top corners, but I'm, I might just go like side, 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 something like that. Evan Max, thank you so much for the sub, buddy. So let me, uh, let me take out some of this stuff. We'll go through it. Um, this is what reminded me I want to do to, to do this. Anna sent me just this, like this coolest uh, color ring sticker. I love this thing. She's got them up on the website. That's probably gonna go like on the front here. Um, I don't know, it might be big enough to go on the back. I have, Mount Fuji stickers that I picked up from CW Pencil from their sticker shop. Um, that's what also this New York one was. So I haven't used a lot of these. And these pen and pencil ones, like I'll probably pop these on like the back or something, you know, just filling up some space because they're really teeny, teeny skinny stickers. Um, the Traveler's Notebook stickers are just so nice. We'll go through these in a minute. I'm actually going to set that aside because these, one of these will go on here. Um, Mount Fuji coloring. Those are all going to go on here. So I'll just kind of go through them and stack up the ones that I want on here. I love my baseball sticker that might go on the back. It's just so big. It will take up like so much space on here. We'll see. It might work as like a top layer as a top layer sticker. Like I don't mind overlapping some stickers. So like this is kind of like a top layer guy, uh, more pencils, uh, more thumbs up. I think that was from one of the CW pencil boxes, maybe. Thumbs up, I like that one. Um, I think this is funny. I get a kick out of this. So when I got my Fire on Fire inks from Robert Oster, for some reason he sent like extra stickers for the tops of the bottles. So I'll, I'll end up sticking one of these on there for sure. Morning, Kimmy. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just think it's silly. So I usually go for silly. Um, King's Coast, that's the coffee subscription I subscribe to. So they always throw a sticker in 
like every order. Um, this is probably one of their better ones. I might save that and put that on the back or something. I do have a bit of a hierarchy. You know, I want the most important things on the front and then some other cool stuff on the back. But it's kind of, I don't pay that much attention to it. Um, this is probably one of my singular most favorite stickers. I should start giving these away because Chris gave me a bunch. This is definitely a front of the laptop sticker. So it's the Baltimore uh, Write Notepads sticker. And this is like old ink bottles, like to fill up printers. So it's just, so I, I told Chris of how much I enjoyed this sticker and he goes here. So what I have, you know, probably 30, 40 of them. So uh, I'll have to bring them and give them away sometime. But I'm gonna take one here. That That is a front of the laptop level sticker. Like that's how I rank this sticker, this particular one. So we'll set that aside. Um, these are like little furniture and cars. Looks like I've used them for something. It's like a little, um, these are probably good for, oh, there's a lot of Baltimore representation in here. I think, yeah, there's pen sloth. There's a little blue crab. So we're gonna get, we got a lot of stickers in here. I don't know where I got these from. Someone sent me these and then, you know, looks like they've been used a little bit, but there's like luggage and travel. So this is good for like your traveler's notebooks. I don't know if I'll use one of these for my laptop because they're so small, but some of the little luggage ones are good looking. What's this one? This is the California Incense Cedar. Um, that's from uh, Blackwing. Okay, so is that one in the sticker pack from uh, Wright? They make really great stickers. Yeah. That's a good one. I like that. So this one came from a recent Blackwing subscription order. Oh, this is a good one. I'll probably just save this one. I don't think I'm gonna put this on the on the uh, thing. Does anyone know what this is? There's not that many of you in here, so the uh, the count might be low. But there might be someone in here who knows what this is. And if I have two of them, if you guess it, if I have a second one, I'll send it to you. Does anyone know what it is? You have to be a very close follower to know what it is. I got more stickers in here than I thought. It is a meat bikini, but specifically, what is it for? Well, Doug, were you there? You might have been there. So this was the Relay Family Feud. Our team name was Team Steak Bikinis, and Julia Scott made these stickers for us. So, <laughs> so these are the emojis for steak and bikini. So we were Team Steak Bikini um, for Relay FM Family Feud. Relay Relay Feud. So I, I think I'm probably going to keep this one. I might. That's, temp that's tempting to go on the laptop. Good morning, coffee and tacos. <laughs> yeah. So this was so Tiffany Arment when we got our names oh when we got our teams we had to come up with a team name so we're all bantering around team names and tiff goes "Ooh, i keep a list of bad names so she went and got her list she just had like a text list of bad names and pasted it into like our chat and we all go "Ooh, steak bikinis that will make steven upset so our goal was to make steven upset um, with our team name choice, or at least to make him feel awkward when he had to say it out loud. So uh, that's where Team Steak Bikinis came from. So I'll have to see if I have another. Hey, here's a bookmark from the Sylvine uh, notebook I bought at some point. Um, these are from, this is one of the coolest things. This is probably the singular coolest things I got at the San Francisco Pen Show. Um, I wish I had his official title. Like I don't want to call him the wrong title, but um, Tony was is in the uh, in the Navy and he teaches um, in the submarine tactics division. And he brought us a patch, like this big Velcro patch and a sticker. Um, you know, I'm not worthy to put uh, this on my laptop, but I'm super stoked to have these. Like this is really nice, and it was a really big deal. Um, he gave us to these to me and Mike after the um, after the podcast after the live show in San Francisco. It, like we were both pretty much crying at that point, so it was pretty cool. These I don't know where this came from. Somewhere in San Francisco, podcaster that is not going on the laptop. Not going on the laptop. I'd have to lose a bet for that one to go on the laptop. Yeah, he was down in San Diego, so you know he's down in in that area. Um, these are my 
so I have other things in here besides stickers. So I have pins and stuff. Um, so these are my uh, exo emojis. So this is from Destiny game, and this is a, a woman named Tanya that's in my Destiny clan. She makes these exo emojis. I have one on my backpack um, that I carry around. So I got a couple of these. So they're little buttons for uh, little exo heads. So those are my little cards for that. Oh, I'm gonna put one of these. So I got these Destiny stickers at Guardian Con this year. I'm gonna put one of these on here. So that's the ghost. It's the spicy ramen ticket. Uh, so that's a vault of glass um, uh, raid. Uh, and then the legendary shards. I'll probably, I might put the ghost on this year. So I gotta pick some of these out, put them on the side here, and figure out how I'm gonna lay this out. Oh, so that's a Tom Ben one. That's an all white one. Would that work on? I'm gonna cheat and look and see how this would work. Oh, you can't see that. Yeah, that'd probably be good. So it's a clear background sticker with white text. Uh, it says the going is good. It's uh, Tom Ben. I guess I maybe got that one. I ordered something from them. This was the uh, Ink Dependence stickers, right? Mike did a good job. Uh, Matthew Morse did these um, for him. So I got some of those stickers for him from him. So that's probably, that's definitely a candidate. Skylab letterpress. Is this a sticker or a bookmark? This looks like a sticker. It's so glossy, I can't tell. If it's a sticker, it's going on the laptop. This might be, I think this is, I think this is just a glossy bookmark. Yeah, this isn't a sticker, but that's really cool. Boy, this is gonna take a lot. I thought this might be a quick stream because I got things to do. I'm just scratching the surface here. Brown Buffalo. Uh, oh, Pinquisition. Okay, that artwork looked different. I, knew, I didn't think that was right, so thank you, Evan. Those colors kind of match Mike's stuff, so my mind went somewhere else. Thank you. Uh, Brown Buffalo from a backpack that I bought, but that's not cool enough to go on the laptop. Should I put Tiff's head on my laptop? We might. We might put Tiff's head. Oh, Tiff's Grab It might be better. Tiff's Grab It. Uh, oh, Mike. Mike's Grab It. Um, or maybe we should just go with the playing for fun uh, logo. I got all these from Tiff. I forget where. Maybe Atlanta. So I've just been saving them for a good time. Um, hmm. That's a tough call. This is going to be impossible. Okay, these definitely go. So these are the last two stickers I did for the Retro 51 for the Pen Addict. And I'm going to have to, and I have the next one, which is at the house. So these definitely go on and those definitely go on the front. The art snack sticker designs are just cool, right? They do a really good job with theirs. Um, I like the basic pencil, but I'll always choose the brighter flashy one. So we're going to set that aside there. Um, you see what ends up in this box is all the small things I don't have room for. So this is the CW pencils patch for 2019. I think that came in one of the boxes or I either ordered it separately. Um, buttons, uh, north of Rosemont, the notebook people, Kaveco for the win. Ooh, if I have a Lamy one, I need, I owe someone a Lamy one. Fountain Pen Day, Atlanta Pen Show 2019. Ask me anything. Like these are good, um, good pens that we had or good buttons that we had, um, you know, at the show to let people know that we're comfortable uh, taking questions. Colorado Pen Show 2018. Ask me anything. Let me see if I can grab all these out of the way. Got a bunch of those. Lemur Ink, little pen. Um, let's get the pen addict ones out of the way. A whole stack of relay stickers. That'll probably, I'll, I'll take one of those out and that'll go on here. Oh, I think one of those pens is open. Do you have the rare FP Geeks writing with a fountain pen button? I don't have any FP Geeks buttons, so I know I don't have that one. I'd like to see a picture of it though. So I have a bunch of these relay stickers. I'll put one. That's probably like a backside. Or I might go in the front. We'll see. Um, okay, there's a knock sticker, but I want one of the round ones for the front. So I'm going to set that one aside. This is from my friend Glenn in Hong Kong. Y'all know Glenn HK on Instagram. Y'all should follow him because he's dealing a lot with the protests right now. So he, he keeps in touch with me, lets me know what's going on. He sends me these um, Milk Teology stickers, which 
like the the uh, French toast in Hong Kong is apparently like kind of like this amazing thing. So I'm gonna keep this handy. That I had one on my last um, laptop, so I might use this one for this laptop. Oh, here's some more. Um, art snacks ones so I'm not going to do camo god this is a hard choice between these other two the rainbow one's so light hmm which one do you like the orange red one or the pastel rainbow so y'all think about that one and I'm going to keep going there's some robot sticker I don't know what that's from that looks like maybe from CW pencils or something I don't know what that is make things by hand pastel make things by hand that was from blackwing which is a good one pastel i know i'm kind of the more pastel rainbow guy the other one just kind of pops though so we'll see i think i think you'll if the consensus is pastel i'll go pastel this one took me a lot a while to get to figure out what it says but it's from blackwing and it says uh analog across the vinyl and once i saw it i was like oh that's pretty cool i like that one that's my favorite of the the bunch that they did so maybe that one sets aside all right we'll go with pastel pastel rainbow this one's not going on and it looks like a picture but it's actually a sticker it's from one of those little sticker printers zinc um so you can just peel this off and stick this on thing this is me mike and anna at the atlanta pen show and uh our friend julia scott took that picture i know i'll miss being in dallas it looks like it's going to be a great event i've gotten a bunch of emails so we got uh the blue crab from the baltimore pen show holding the fountain pen Oh, the laptop, it's a, I, I never said what it was. It's an Apple 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro. Yeah, is that it? So I got it like two, three months ago. My old one, uh, my kids needed a new la school laptop, so they got my old one. Um, so this is the pen sloth. If anyone uh, follows me on uh, the Pen Attic members, he was mentioned like two issues ago. Y'all should go follow him on um, Instagram, pen sloth. He does cool artwork. So, yeah. That was the stickers from him. Oh, here's one of Glenn's big Milk Teology French Toast stickers. So this is going to be hard to narrow things down. No Place Like Home. That's from Write Notepad's uh, guitar pick. And a set of pencil pens from, oh, see, pens, not pens. Blackwing. Shot across the bow. Blackwing. What's this one? And then, like, a brass one. So this is, like... I'm finding things in here that I didn't know existed. They've been here for a while. Venturing into the land of the touch bar. I, I avoided the touch bar for the longest time because I didn't think I'd really need it. And I mean, I use it for the uh, fingerprint recognition and that's it. Otherwise, I could do without it. I just didn't, um, there wasn't an option in the 13 inch pro to not have it. More Kings Coast coffee stickers. Like every time I get an order from them once a month, once a month, I get two bags of coffee from King's Coast, um, and there's always a sticker in the box. Of it. Like, everything just gets chucked into this into this basket. Um, elemental Notebooks stickers, iodine, and the main elemental. Um, I think these are really cool. They did a good job on these. Um, more King's Coast stickers. I've been a subscriber for a while, so I have a lot of stickers. Uh, Nugget Extra Bold, more King's Coast. Hey, even supposing... Oh, this is Toronto right that's toronto did i get this from the toronto pen show is that the correct needle or is that like tokyo has a needle too i know that's not seattle is that toronto yeah toronto i don't know someone must have gave this to me and someone must have printed them out themselves like it's it looks like off a, a printer that's pretty cool um one of ben quark's stickers is definitely going to go on here that's the fennec fox um he sent me a big sticker pack of his artwork one of these, one of his big ones is going to go front and center on the back. So we may, we may figure that one out uh, next. So, cause I got a bunch of them here. This dome paper sticker is one of my all time favorites. This goes on the front of the laptop. It was on, I had one on the front of my last laptop. I'm going to have this one on the front of this laptop. It's just a classic sticker design. Um, so yeah, that one stays over here. All right, let's go through these Ben Kwok stickers real quick. And there's more. So the Fennec Fox is at the top of the list. Y'all tell me which other ones you like. Yeah, a bunch of people get uh, his stuff tattooed. Um, so the Fennec Fox 
I, that's the leader in the clubhouse, and I haven't even gone through the rest of these. So we have the owl, which is fantastic. We have the lion, which is one of the more famous ones. I think the elephant's the most famous, which is this is the next one. That's the elephant. So they all look good. And then we have, I don't know if this is a specific species of cat, but it's just a cool cat looking thing. It's got very pointy ears. I like it. Um, that giraffe is pretty dope. You just don't see giraffe stickers. Um, and that's just wild. And here's a more of a red fox on there. And then here's a bulldog. So they're all pretty cool. I'm still, after going through them, I'm still like on the, the Fennec Fox. Oh, and there's my there's my mailing address if you need it. <laughs> what is in here? Must be stickers or something in here. His name is Ben Kwok, K-W-O-K. -K. He goes by BioWorks. Oh, uh, that's a letter from Matthew Morse. Oh, yeah, so I got Matthew Morse stickers here too. That's a Matthew Morse y'all sticker. That almost pretty goes on there. That giraffe was pretty cool. I liked it better than I thought I would. Oh, I got another. What's this one? Oh, okay. Sea turtle. Sea turtle's pretty rad. There's the fennec fox. I think sea turtle jumped into number two. Let's see. Giraffe. No, no, no. I think these are like the choices. I think these are my top four. Giraffe owl sea turtle fox so that is a good turtle isn't it yeah that's good colors too that might win all right we'll keep sea turtle out we'll leave these other ones uh that sea turtle's pretty nice i'm not gonna lie stuff that works who made this one is this uh right notepads or this might be blackwing sometimes i can't remember but uh good guitar sticker Oh, look at that. OG. Rip. Rip the BYOB pin club. It's a good time. <laughs> More pins. Uh, BWI 2019. What's this one? Behind the Counter. I don't know what this is from. It's some horror thing. It looks like horror themed. Strong Like Bull Magnets is my buddy Brian from Spoke Pins. That's his other side business. So he does, hey, that's cool artwork for them. Another uh, dome paper sticker. Don't ask me for this one. You can't have it. This is like one of my all-time favorite stickers. Ahead of even mine. More Kings Coast. More strong like bull magnets. Uh, this was something Brian did, I think. I don't know what it is. Where are the all-star always buttons? Probably in the fireplace. I don't know. We'll see if we have any. Um... I can't remember what that is. Nib Smith. Dan's cool logo. Um, oh, there's an on a head. On a head pin. That must mean on a head pin. Uh, Brad head pin. Good made better. Oh, is that good made better? I don't know what that means. I mean the sticker. I don't know what that means. Stuff that works patch. Oh, the little dipper. Cool. Who made this stuff that works? Because now that's the second thing that I have. And this one's a patch, and it's kind of nice. Um, this is Atlanta Pin Show 2018. Oh, here's another Art Stack snicker, sticker. So now which one do you like? This is like the eye test. Like I took an eye test earlier this week. It's like, can you see better now? Number one, number two. One, two. One, two. So, um... I still think rainbow. Yeah. Pastel rainbow still wins. Agreed. Easy enough. Um, Michael Hagen at Leadfast makes some of my favorite stickers. Like, that's just cool. Like, I saw another one floating over here. There was one. This one lived on the front of my last laptop. I might just put this one on and put it on the back. Just It's rad. Like, I know he doesn't write much and update much, but... You know, it's just a cool sticker. Like, I might just put that on the... This might be a back... Um, back side. Uh, back of the laptop stickers. Oh, this is uh, Pop's Pancakes. that One of Jeff's uh, side gigs. that One of his thousand side gigs <laughs> that he does. 
um, for that. There's a mic head. There's a um, pull cord that I've used and just tossed in here. This is an official art snacker pin. So that's, that's what it says, official art snacker, which is very nice. This is an old spoke design uh, sticker. So I'm not gonna use that, we have new ones now, but this is one of the old ones that he would send out with the uh, pencils that Brian would send out. And there's a Rickshaw Bagworks sticker. He actually makes way cooler stickers now than this one. This is an older one, I think. BYB, BYOB Pin Club, guest host, all access, access. So I got my guest pass from when I was on the BYOB Pin Club, which is a great idea. All right, so I got a challenge coin. Uh, this is School of the Advanced Space Studies. I forget, I know who gave me this, but I can't remember their name off the top of my head. I, I could pull him up on Twitter. Uh, gosh. Oh, and it's numbered, like, it's really cool, number 439. And it's School of Advanced Air and Space Studies from the past, the future. It's just really, really nice. I need to pull this out and put this on my shelf to, like, display it. Um, boy, he's going to kill me that I can't remember his name. I talk to him on Twitter all the time, but I'm blanking. I'm going to set that aside. Oh, there's some, some well-appointed desk stickers. Those definitely make the cut. Uh, more blue crab. Oh, this crab is a fancy crab he's got a top hat and a cane so that's a fancy fancy blue uh, there's a that was our first notco sticker um i think i'm still going to go round on the front more spoke design stickers yeah so i got to get the new notco and the new spoke design on there these kaveco aluminum stickers that definitely goes on more mic heads brad heads nib smith pen North of Rosemont pen, uh, guitar pick, BYOB spoke. I got a lot of these spoke ones down here. Brad head, Anna head. We're almost done here. Then we'll start sticking. Uh, a bunch of old school pen attic stickers. Mike head, strong like bull. You can tell I'm at the end now. I'm just firing through it. More strong like bull. These are really good logos. I like Brian's logos for these. So the next batch of not knock stickers will not be stickers. It's going to be pins. Uh, it's going to be buttons like these. I think they're inch and a half, and they'll have the uh, fluorescent pink logo on them. So I'm excited about these. These are Retro 51. These are like um, from a sticker roll. They gave us a bunch of these. I definitely put one of those on there. My pen needs ink. This is Tyler's favorite sticker. Like he told me one time, he's like, oh, I like that one. More spoke design. Oh, here's the Matthew Morse ones. These will go on. Um banana for scale and what did he call the space the space cat was it just called space cat so these would definitely go on and then last but not least arkansas pin show 2017 that's got to be a rare one because probably no one was there don't tell anyone i said that all right we gotta start sticking now so this stuff can stay this stuff can hold this stuff can go back all right, so here's what I know. I know two things. Well, I know more than that. I know a few things. All right, so. I do consider like the layout on, on here a little bit. So let me move some of these out the way. I do consider a little bit of the layout. So there's this. So the dome paper circle needs to go in probably like the bottom right corner. It's such a big sticker, it kind of overwhelms. This is not, this is a 13 inch um, laptop, so it's not overly huge, but this is like a three inch sticker anyway. So it probably has to go in the corner just so I can put other stuff around it. Let's see, let's think about this. So these are all, this will go on the front. Uh, where's all my front side stickers? Oh, that's the stack. Front, 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 probably front. Probably front. Uh, here's the part of the stream where you just hear Brad, the wheels turning in Brad's head. Um, Mount Fuji stickers can go anywhere. Let me pull out 
see which traveler stickers I like. I'm thinking the coloring and the dome paper might go in the back just because they're super large. So these traveler stickers are very cool. So they have some of them that look like stamps. Uh, Travelers train all aboard. This is the I use this one obviously for a last one. All aboard, get on Travelers train. That's pretty cool. I do like the round trip ticket one. Gold foil. This one. Trip to 2018, a traveler's notebook, gold full of letters. I could spell something with this. Um, just date stamps, little logos. And these are like, um, what would you call these? I guess they're stickers, but they're see-through and I don't know. They're for something clear. So I'm probably going to go with one of these. I kind of like the bottom too. We'll see. We'll see what kind of space I have. I'm gonna leave this sheet out and put these up just so I don't lose lose them. Also, I gotta remember to keep room on the front for the knock and the spoke sticker that I didn't bring with me. So I might work on the back more than the front today. So that oh, I forgot the got the sheet there you that's the one I, that was on my last top I know it's hard to see this little gold I mean orange train that's the one I used last time all right let's see now when it comes time to sticking I'm actually stressing out because I only want to do it once all right let's see here so these need to go on front somehow. I kind of like Pink Robot. I like his head sticking up out in the corner there. So I might do that. Pink Robot up in this corner, Sheba head in this corner because they're about the same size and then the ice uh, isometric can go somewhere else. So I'm gonna I'm gonna commit to this one. I'm gonna commit to this one going in the corner. It's a good corner sticker. So that was Matthew Morse's design for last year's Retro 51. So I'm gonna save this corner for this year's Retro 51, and then the isometric is gonna fill in somewhere somewhere around here. All right, yay! Two two stickers. Do I have a stand in your in my case, like in the laptop case, in my for my laptop? What do you what do you mean, JVK? I have a laptop stand on my desk at home. I know that. All right. The other thing I know for sure. Okay, so which orientation do I do the back? Hang on, I gotta sneeze. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Um, okay. Oh, so the stickers are the right way up when using the stand. So, so this is the right way up here. Okay. Right. So that's the right way up. So they were facing when I have my cover up. With someone's looking at them, that's the orientation they're in. So the bottom, the underneath side. I can also use this space too for stickers. Like I'm not opposed to putting some here. I'll use, I'll leave that to last though. Cause they do get my hands on them and you wear them out. So the bottom stickers I think should go this orientation or am I overthinking it? That would be, <clears throat> let's see. So this is going to go center by my words. I'm saying it should go like this. <laughs> I can't do that in camera. That's got to be fun to watch. By what I'm saying, it should go like this orientation. Not this orientation. I think that makes it upside down. 
I think it should go this orientation. Why do you put stickers on the bottom? Did you see how many stickers I have? <laughs> I want them to go somewhere. <laughs> if I'm going on, if I'm going on the top, I'm going all in. Um, that's pretty much pretty much why I have the stickers. Oh, uh, I have stickers all over my iPad case. Like there's, I have some good stickers on my iPad case that I don't have extras of. Like I have some of Jonathan Brooks new stickers, um, on my iPad case that I would love to have on my laptop. I just don't have any extras. Oh, and this orientation, the orientation I decided on actually has the little the little uh details up here and that's in the correct reading orientation if it's this way the ipad case is a little bit harder to sticker because it has the folds in it for the stand so my ipad case does have the stand in it and i just have to line them up so i could make something in the fold but i just don't all right so um the Ben Quok turtle, sea turtle, is going in the center back. So we can put everything else around it. This is hard to get lined up correctly. Just lay it on there lightly to see if I got it. <laughs> yeah, looks good enough. You know, without laser laser measuring it. I've never stickered anything. It's like you either you either are zero stickers or all the stickers. I haven't found like JVK says has four on mine all their own stickers. I can see that, but it's either like an all or nothing. It's like once you have one, you gotta have ten. So that came out good. That was totally the right choice too. What a great sticker that is. I don't even remember this one that Ben did. Like almost all those other ones I remember. Like I've seen the artwork for. I don't I don't recall really seeing the um he sent me Ben sent me some giant stickers that are about I don't know twice the size of these ones that I was sending you and I have a laptop stand at home and that's all I have on it it's just this huge huge thing on there so his Ben's Ben's to always been super nice to me and sending me stuff like that just randomly so I really appreciate him he's such a good dude <clears throat> maybe one day I'll do a pin with him but Lisa already did it so that's you gotta get away you, you gotta hold that off you need some time in between those things all right I'm very concerned about this dome paper sticker because it has to go on here. This has to go on here. So I need room here for, I need, so these are, all right, let me show you this. Should I have, so I have my knock and my spoke stickers at home. Should they go right next to Pen Addict? Should I not be like that particular and that like um, um, self, I don't know, back patty <laughs> to put like line mine up like a constellation right here, like a planet and the moon circling around here. You know, that's a little bit of a lame, lame thing. So maybe I should just not worry about it and just stick them wherever when I get, I think it's probably better if I stick them more randomly, like keep this in the middle don't one by the trackpad that might work put them above like eyeballs like make it mickey mouse like like that <laughs> yeah like you don't start stickering like the laptop first stick your one of your field notes notebooks first then stick the storage boxes and then if you like it you know maybe it transfers to the laptop all right i think i've uh i think i've rethought my knock and spoke stickers that I don't have here. I think they're just going to go randomly on the front somewhere like no home. I don't want it to be too. The thing about stickers when you're putting a lot, they can't be too organized or it looks lame. I think they have to be kind of haphazard. 
put on there. Like I got the ones that are important that I want in the right middle sections and then everything else can float around there. But trying to like particularly like assign these locations for the two other stickers that I want, I think that's already driving me crazy. So I think they just need to be haphazard wherever I think I can f fix them. Yeah, organized disorganization, organized confusion. So this has to go on the front here. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, you can't do stickers symmetrically. One, because it's technically impossible. Like, there's going to be something that's an odd shape that's going to screw it up. See, Rich? Yeah, you can't look like you care too much while I'm sitting here having a record of me obsessing about them, right? <laughs> so, I like my middle stickers and the corner stickers. Yeah, those are my organized ones. Um, The right notepads one... I think it just goes here. I think we're just going to do like a continuation. Like those colors are good together. Like I think I'm just going to go for that there. I like it up high on here. Let's see. I really thought this would be like a 30 minute stream. It is clearly not. Which now I'm worried about the rest of the work I got to do this afternoon. But this is more fun. Even though there's probably people in here whose orders I need to pack. Sorry. We'll go get them in a minute. We go this way. Yeah. Hmm. What's the right angle? I think that's the right angle. That's the other thing. It's like I will eventually stick over stuff, but right now I kind of keep them spaced. So, yeah. That's good. I like that. Those play good off each other. I think I might just go for the dome down here in the corner and put it back so you can see. I'm kind of liking how this side's shaping up over here. It's getting spaced out correctly. Like, that's a good spot for a knock or a spoke logo there. How would the dome look on the keyboard? It's too big. It would hang over the edge so what are some of the web shops with cool stickers uh, CW pencil sticker shop is a good one. Oh no they took it off when uh, when you send it in that stinks record setting stream <laughs> sticker sticker stream all right so I think I'm just gonna go with dome paper here um, this side's kind of working for me so far and then that gives me room for other things because I know I want that on there. Oh, Inky Converters makes great stickers. I have some of her keychains. Um, yeah, that's a great, good call, Hobby 100. Good call. Yeah, she's awesome. She was at the San Fran Pin Show. And I have like her, uh, it's an al alpaca. Uh, Keychains. Okay, I thought my sticker was hard to get off. This one is something else. This is one I have to worry about having bubbles on the on the sticker too. I can't believe y'all are watching me put stickers on here. This is fun. You know, you need a diversion today. Like there might be something else going on in the world today. Um. So I'm glad you're here hanging out, having a little uh, brain chill. Magenta Mel, thanks for the follow. Like, having a chill sticker stream on days like today is necessary, I find. Oh my gosh, I'm going to lose my, I'm going to email Chad right now and yell at him. Chad, why can't I get this sticker off? There we go. Ooh, I ripped it too, almost. Not bad. Okay. Mercy, Chad. Killing me there, bro. All right. So... This is going to be hard to line up, just like these other ones. Enjoy the top of my head for a moment while I obsess over this. good all right 
Here's where we're at so far. Oh, erasable stickers are very good. I used to have some of those. I think they're on my old laptop. And I don't have any of the big CW Enterprise stickers. They're all on my old laptop. All right, so that's where we're at so far. We got that and Turtle Guy. All right, let's keep going for a little bit. I like this spot right here for knocker spoke. So that's a good, where's something like that size? Perfect. That's going to go there. Okay. So actually, we'll put that back as a holding spot here. I like the, uh, what I do with my old laptops, well, two laptops ago it died. So rip, it was just dead. Um, my last one went to my kids because now they're old enough. So I bought a laptop in 2011, 2015, and 2019. So they're lasting me four to five years. Um, I killed the 2011 one when I bought the previous one. And then my previous one, um, my kids, laptop that they use for school died over the summer so I just handed me down that laptop and then bought this one for me um, I think art snacks pastel needs to go pretty prominently uh, let's see what else I got here I think my destiny ghost shell i don't know i think i might I just have to keep it all all stationary on the front my destiny ghost shell might have to go on the back um do we have anything big or ish we have a gigantic colo ring we're getting too big if we do colo ring here Something like that. I love this sticker. I'm not sure if it's the right sticker for the front. Because I can't put too much around it. Bottom middle for art snacks. Where'd it go? Like here. That might be a good spot, actually. Actually, probably put it over here. Something like that for art snacks. Yeah, I'm thinking this might have to go on the back or might have to go in a notebook. I just love the sticker so much. Whoops. Look. So that's on the back side. I could work in something like that. Maybe it goes by the trackpad. God such a good sticker hmm it goes by the trackpad I think it might be too tall let me check <clears throat> yeah way too tall too big <laughs> it could be the trackpad that's the only way it would work on the inside <laughs> All right. Uh. Or does it just go vertically like this? Or not at all. We might we might be talking ourselves out of this one completely. Hmm. Dilemmas, dilemmas. Sticker dilemmas. <clears throat> all right let's do let's work on the back for a second and let that marinate we'll let that marinate it could go on a device i was honestly thinking about putting it on a notebook that's actually that's a pretty good idea yeah like this i was thinking could it go on the cover of cortex but i think i'll probably do like a uh, i'll probably do like a pen addict sticker or some other sticker here or maybe a mic sticker on here. maybe mic sticker should go on here <laughs> that's what i should do he, that would make him so angry we got to do that right i think that's the correct answer for that and then this goes right here bam 
plus I'll keep this divider like these dividers were uh, would stay I'm thinking that's the play it's such a this is one of my favorite stickers but it's not working for my laptop configuration so I think that's the play right I think that's the play you know what I'm gonna go ahead and commit to it yeah and the color works that's what I thought too the color would work there all right let's commit that football 98 thanks for the follow I appreciate it that is super awesome we're putting stickers on things today because I have a lot of stickers this just looks good like it just looks good right yeah I'm happy with that color ring you know it looks it looks crooked it's not when it's on the when I get it all squared up very cool yeah so y'all can see what I'm carrying the most now right like I'll put I'll put the I'll just put the cortex book in here and that's kind of what I'm carrying right now um, do we need to do this is this is this a thing is this what we should do I don't know why I'm kind of feeling that oops right I mean it's Mike Hey, thanks for the follow, Howard. You're in mine. 715 something. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. This feels. Although, do I want Mike looking at me? Yeah, it's good, though, right? It's good. It is relaxing. Like, like I can't believe that I'm doing this, but it's like kind of cool. You need the relaxing today. Jesse, yours came out great. What do you think about it so far? vote yes for the mic sticker all right i'm doing it committing to it right now <laughs> tiff on the front mic on the back no nah, i'll put mic on the front and then i'll probably put playing for fun on yeah i thought it came out great jesse the the, the style with the brown outside purple interior was muy bueno I think we'll just leave, do the mic sticker on here. We might just go ahead and post this on Instagram. <laughs> He's going to be so mad, which means I should do it. I don't have any of the gold coin stickers. That would be cool. I just have uh, I just have this one. I'm going to put that one on my laptop. <laughs> I'm thoroughly enjoying this sticker. Uh... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's send that to Mike. What do you think? Mm. <laughs> oh, I found this yesterday. Thanks for the follow, Gray Fox Sound. I found this yesterday. I sent that to my wife because we have a Bichon poo. It says, Bichon, please. I didn't buy it. That's kind of dumb. It was dumb enough for me to take a picture of, though. <laughs> yeah, even supposing. I didn't think I was going to like it. And it's, I mean, I'm three days into it. I've used it every day so far. My feelings might change in a month, right? Right now, I'm very happy with it. And then we're just going to see how it goes. Like, you know, there's no rush. I mean, you can't buy it right now anyway. So, you know, I'll continue to give my thoughts on it, you know. And um, right now, I can see how it fits me. Uh <laughs> Uh, I hate picking out uh, uh, 
filters. What's the podcast, if anyone can link? So there's, my podcast is the Pen Attic Podcast, and then we're talking about this notebook is from the Cortex Podcast, C-O-R-T-E-X. Yeah, so that's the part of it is figuring out how you're going to use the bulk of the notebook. The, the Coast124, thanks for the follow, I appreciate it, is figuring out how you're going to use the bulk pages, right? Um, yeah, so figuring out how you're going to use those things is is just what the challenge was for me. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to send this and stop futzing around with it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sam, let me uh <laughs> Sam, we have a Bichon too. He's about as smart as those stickers, sweet as can be, but dumb as a box of rocks. Toby is smart. He's he's just a jerk. Our our dog is mean. He does not like other people. He super doesn't like other kids, which I having two kids. Um, oh yeah, no, this is what I do. I, I run a blog called the pen addict and we talk about pens and stationery all the time. And like our last stream, we did unboxing of new stationary products and we do journaling. Like here's my recent journal. It's called the theme system. And we talk about this kind of stuff. Sorry, I can't flip the page right here. Yeah, so like, you know, we do journaling, we do fun stuff with pens, fountain pens, gel pens, all kinds of stuff. Do it all the time. I've been doing this for many years, many years. So I'm glad you found us. How did you find us? Just just browsing through? Oh man, he's gonna be mad. <laughs> this stream is gonna ruin my day because i'm having too much fun <laughs> all right posted oh Edgall, I'm glad to do it because that's the thing that I find too. Like, I agree with you. Everyone in this room will agree with you that if you say these words out loud among people who doesn't know, who people who don't know what's going on, um, if you say these kind of things out loud, it doesn't like, you're like, boy, I'm super weird. But like, we're all super weird here, right? Like, this is what we do um, because we have a hobby that we enjoy and you know, you actually caught me on a day where I'm not necessarily doing hobby stuff um, because we just did a huge stream on Tuesday where I unbox and talk about products. So I'd been promising to get my sticker stash out and sticker up my new laptop. So like, that's what we're doing today. Then we can talk about the pens and paper, paper and all the stuff that we love. So that's awesome how, how, how you read. I'm, I just read that as how you read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I'm glad you, you saw stickers and stuffed in. So now we got to, I think we got to go rainbow sticker next. Um, thank you even supposing for putting that out there. I think we got to go. I think art snacks, art snacks, pastel rainbow works good up in the corner. But I'm wondering if I'm taking up all. So that's bottom middle. I wonder if I'm taking up like all the prime real estate in the corners, but like these are just the right size stickers for the corners, I think. So I don't know. Legit Huggy, welcome. Good to see you. Did you see what I did to Mike? Let's see if he gets mad at me. I hope so. I'm feeling... That seems too obvious though. All right, we're gonna hold that one. Hold that one. Um, let's see, these got a scooch. I'm making a mess now. I'm getting all my sorting confused. Um, Coveco, Coveco foil definitely goes on the front, sorry. And Retro 51, those are tiny. These go on the front. Okay, I worked nights for many, many, many years, so I know it well. So check the streams later, and then I do put them on a YouTube channel. It's the Pen Addict. 
I think, on the YouTube channel. The Pen Addict. <laughs> he wouldn't be mad. He'd just be like, oh, you're making fun of me. <laughs> Which I am. So he wouldn't be mad at all. He'll probably laugh, honestly. Um, I kind of think we need to do banana for scale on the front, right? Like, banana for scale needs to be... That's a front... That's a front uh, sticker. Banana for scale might be good bottom center. What well, that looks good, right? I think banana for scale at the bottom, bottom middle. Or am I wasting too much space by doing that? That looks too even. That looks too too planned. Banana for scale could go there. That'll leave me room for a knock sticker around that size. I don't know. I might kind of like it there. Emo Ska Band. That's a great, great name. I've told you all my band names, right? So like when me and Jeff were working together, I've said these a thousand times. So if you've heard them. Uh, why does tick twitch look crazy different today i don't know does it i haven't looked at the main pages i like the matching curve of the banana to the circle of the panatic logo in the center regardless of where it is so you're saying like you like it here because it's that same same curve around no matter how i do it right is that what you're alluding to So if that's the case, I almost think I should move it. I don't know. I kind of like it there at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, it's the right orientation for that. I think I'm just going to go bottom center on this. Yeah, I haven't looked on the main page. Do I have any stickers with a mouth that could be eating the banana? I don't think so. Probably just the mic sticker I used. Where's Tiff? Tiff could be eating the banana. <laughs> All white, no purple? Here, let me pull up the home page and look. See if I see that. Nah, man, mine's purple, but it, did your dark mode switch? That could be what it is. If your dark mode might have switched. Something like that. Oh, they, oh, yeah. Yeah, so. All right. <laughs> you should start to look for some stickers. All right. Let's see here. All right. Banana for scale is going bottom center. Okay, that looks good. And then I can probably put, where's the Kaveco foil? Kaveco foil down here. Or maybe retro, maybe right here. Retro 51. New Twitch UI, really? I must not have been updated yet then. Too many circles in a line. Good point. I was just thinking that. I didn't like it there. You got to break it up. All right. That means I still think Art Snacks has to go up here. What's up, the boop? I still think Art Art Snacks up here. Are y'all are y'all feeling that? That's what I'm thinking right now. I think I like art snacks there. I'm going to go with that one. Thank y'all for hanging out. I appreciate it. We're an hour into a sticker stream. This is dumb. It's, it's my kind of dumb. Like, I appreciate this. Like, I'm having fun. Even though I know the work that I'm avoiding right now is not good. Because <laughs> I really... If I'm going to get these Retro 51s out this weekend, I need to get my all my other shipping done. <laughs> 
<laughs> even supposing thank you i totally agree like i just have fun i just have fun we need smiles um smiles are the best smiles are what the world needs to focus on yay community i shouldn't have cut my nails the other day because now i can't get any of these stickers off all right art snacks you're going to the corner all right we're gaining on it we're gaining on it a lot of work to do though all right um what else like absolutely has to go on the front i think probably the isometric is one of my favorite stickers i think one of the traveler's notebooks needs to go on there probably the ticket that's the ticket and then i need to save room for two stickers at home probably the Kaveco retro 51 When you win that Pensachi Sailor, how many entries are we up to now? It's got to be like 1,500 or so. Oh, what to do? I think I'm going to do this yellow one. Evan, I actually grabbed your Conklin this morning and put it with the stash of stuff that I need to work on shipping. <laughs> I took this off the... Uh, off the uh, thing already. Yeah, that banana sticker is one of the best. Do y'all like this one right here? I took this off already. Just the round trip ticket. Do y'all even like this tick? Do you even like this sticker? I didn't mean to pull it off of the thing. Actually, I'm gonna put it back on. It closes on your birthday. You have to win. I don't know how many like it down here in the corner. Round trip ticket. All right, let me look at this in my orientation here. Traveler's train round trip ticket. Oh, I do a good giveaway, then everyone's got a birthday all of a sudden. I see how it is. Just kidding. Happy birthday to all y'all. Oh no, there's bubbles in my doing paper sticker. Uh, how did you get in there? I thought I'll put it down nice and clean. It's gonna drive me crazy. All right, made an executive decision. Travelers ticket sticker goes there. <clears throat> September is the cool kids birthday month. Oh, Evan, that's perfect. I'll leave some real estate for later. Oh, and stickers. Like, I already have two stickers at home that I forgot to bring that I need to go on here. And then eventually, I'll just get stickers that are cool enough to um, just pop it on. I'll just start covering up. I'll try not to cover up as much as I can right now, but I eventually will. I don't know where this isometric is going to go. Oh, Brave Tickets. Brave Tickets for the Mets. That stinks you won't get to see Acuna, but like the one game we went to, he sat this year too, so at least he pinch hit. All right, I'm starting to get into dilemma territory where I don't know what to do next. getting a little bit too organized for me so I need to rethink a little bit December is the best month for birthdays I don't know my wedding was in December it's a good month for weddings because the churches are so pretty hmm all right I'm gonna do a flip what time is it it's already 11 15 I got things to do all right we're gonna uh, we're gonna play a little fast and loose on the back here. 
All these are very dark and blue, but that's okay. I won't stack stickers, but I will have a little bit of an overlap. If I use y'all and the Space Cat, that gives Matthew Morse three stickers on my laptop. That's a lot. Four, because he did the pink robot head. So y'all can tell I like Matthew's work, right? Wow, it's funny. Everything is blue back here. August, uh, ours are basically like a s period from the end of June to the b end of August. So like the last week of June to like the third week in August, we have like six, five, six birthdays. Yeah, that y'all sticker is pretty great. I had it on my last top, last laptop. I saved it for this one. Saved an extra one for this one. All right, we're going to put, uh, yeah, the turtle came out good. We're going to put French toast up here because... This sticker doesn't make a lot of sense. I know y'all can't hear me as well when I'm over here. And plus it makes me think of Glenn and I'm thinking about Glenn a lot right now being over in Hong Kong. Um, so yeah, I gotta realign that one a little bit. It went over the edge. I don't want it to go over the edge. So, Putting this French toast sticker on here helps me think about Glenn and everything that they're going through right now over in Hong Kong. So, see, even supposing, happy September birthday. Yeah, I need to get some of the pens. All right, playing for fun, I think it's going to go right under this. This is hilarious how blue, navy blue this is. Like, I totally didn't plan that. All right, so where should playing for fun go? I was about to just go ahead and pop it right here. In there, but it could go anywhere, really. Go another corner. I don't want my all my corners to be the same. I think I'm just gonna put it right there. I don't obsess over the back as much. So Tiff's on there, so Tiff's sticker can go that way. I need to find, okay, so the well-appointed desk one, that's colorful. Maybe the isometric goes on the back because that's colorful. Sorry, I keep scooting it out the frame. This is when we're working from the middle out. Oh, the center's already taken. Sorry, Jesse. Center's already taken. Oh, I put the coloring one in my uh, William Hanna on my holder, though. Were you here when I did that? So my coloring one went on my uh, purple divider. such a good sticker but it's so large it like overwhelms the laptop so I had to find a better place for it hmm yeah I love that one
So I'm kind of liking this edge is more squared off over here. So I'm going to continue this theme. <laughs> which cat? Which cat is it? I'll have to go back and look at it. What else we got here? <laughs> yeah, that's a good spot for y'all. I gotta have the y'all sticker. Oh, sorry, I, you can't see this. I'll uh, I'll adjust momentarily. shaping up good I'm stressing out y'all needs to be on the top side yeah I don't know I had it on the back of my last one it's really hard to read like which I kind of appreciate but that makes me less want to put it on the front and now plus I already have one of his stickers on the front Kaweco needs to go on the front, though. I don't know where. Kaweco we hold until we fill in, such so it's so tiny. What else we need to do? This might be where I stop in order to leave space for future stickers. Because I have so many more stickers I want to use, but I also don't want to do it all today. Because you know more stickers are coming. Let me see. I do want some Mount Fuji's on there, though. Tessa Murphy, thanks so much. I appreciate it. We got the pen and pencils for later. I don't think my big baseball dude's gonna make the cut. I'm gonna have to. I should put him on the cover of my journal notebook, my uh, my Lloyd's term, my red one. That would look good there. Although he could fit here, couldn't he? Let me see. What'd you miss? Um, we're stickering my laptop. We went from zero to where we're at now. This sticker is extremely stuck to the back with a very intense glue. Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> Why would I do such a thing? Um, if it makes you mad, it's at the top of my list, I guess. Seems like a good reason. I don't know, that's kind of cool right there, right? Look at that. What do you think? He can fit right there, right? That's just a dope sticker. I'm doing it. I'm going to put it there. I think CW Pencils threw this in when I ordered the score sheet stuff. The scorecard. The, the Bay had a baseball set. I think this was part of that, or they threw it in for me. I can't remember. Regardless, it's dope. Let's see. 
about how we want it. Yeah. Still another blue sticker back here, though. That's crazy. Yeah, that came out good. And there's the front for you, Tony. Got to leave room. Still got more stickers to go. All right. I I'm actually am going to wrap. I'm going to start picking up. And that's enough stickers for today. I'll add some more stickers. I'll bring them back and show you all like what else I've done. I just have to start picking up because I have a couple hours of shipping I got to do. <laughs> yeah, Tichi, you'll get you. He'll get you. Um, I got a couple hours of shipping I have to do this afternoon, so I do need to wrap this up. But y'all are awesome for hanging on sticker stream. Um, I might have to go back through here, figure out what else I'm going to do and use. I need to start giving away these right notepad stickers. I have too many of them. And have all these black wing pens. So many stickers. Oh, where's that lead fast one? I'll put the lead fast one on the back too, the big one. Well, that fits. Looks good. I can put the lead fast one here. Hang on, I'll show you. I have to put these stickers in a box. Django. Okay. I have to put these stickers in a bag so I don't lose them in my backpack. Y'all yeah, like that lead fast one there? In the grand scheme of the laptop. I think that's just a dope sticker. And it fits that spot well. Doing it. Doing it, Chad. All right. That's it for streams this week. Our schedule's been really good so far, and I plan on keeping it that way. Even though I have other things I should be doing right now. This is cool. Um... There will be games coming up, I'm sure, in October when the new Destiny launches. But the stationary streams have been so much fun. We'll keep those going as long as possible, as much as humanly possible. But we definitely have more No Man's Sky to play. Um, I'm tempted to put Borderlands on the stream, but we'll see. It's a little aggressive for the stream content, but yeah, it's still fun. Does anyone play Borderlands on that's listening right now? All right, it's a good start. Because um, they, they have the really good stream integration is, is why I'm asking. Like, not that, you know, whether I should play it on stream or not, but they do have really nice stream integration. Like, there's lots of extra bells and whistles when you watch a streamer play Borderlands. It's more interactive and things like that. They did a good job. So, until next week, I need to think about uh, next week's streams. I don't have any plans, per se, right this minute. But um, there's always more stuff to get in, more stuff to do. Um, I hope to have the retros up this weekend, if not this weekend next. So, it depends on how much shipping I can get done today. Um, and that's it. We did like an hour and a half on stickers, and we'll do more again soon, I promise. And then... Uh, I leave, uh, I left some room to, to work on them in the future. Have I revealed them yet? No, just the outside box, which is generally re pretty revealing. So um, I'll do the full, the full uh, launch either this weekend or next weekend. I'm really cutting it down to the wire. Like um, the pictures, my wife did not like the first batch of pictures, so we're going to work on a second batch. It's just all timing to get it all done. We want transfers, decals. 
All right. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for hanging out. I will uh, talk to you later, and uh, I will see you online. Bye.